In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create a cyber glitch text animation rig. We control the speed of the animation, the horizontal and vertical displacement with slider controls. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. And let's dive right in. First of all, let's add some text. We grab the type tool to add it. I use Active Grotesque X, black italic. If you're wondering, this is the new property window that came with the latest After Effects update. Size 120 pixels, fill white. The font is available on Adobe Fonts. In paragraph, we center the text and in a line over here, we center align the text layer to the composition. Let's animate the text layer first of all. We open the source text property and add an opacity animator. We set the opacity to zero. In the range selector, we set a keyframe for the start point at the beginning and set it to 100% at 10 frames. And in advanced, we set the smoothness to zero as well, so that the letters don't fade in. Then we add a second animator, a scale animator this time. Let's set scale to 200. We open the range selector, then we set a start keyframe at two frames. Set it to 100 at 16 frames this time. When the letters appear, they are doubled in size. We select Animator 2 and add one more property to it, Character Offset. Let's set it to a random number, 60. So we've offset the letters, meaning it's different letters before they scale down. Finally, we open more options and set grouping alignment to Y minus 50%, so that the letters are anchored to the horizontal center and not to the bottom. Those are all keyframes we need. For everything else, we will use expressions. Expressions are incredibly helpful, like this particles rig. Once set up, you can use it again and again. Impossible with keyframes. Or create a transition rig, for example. Use expression controls to quickly adjust it. Then use them as template in Premiere Pro. I know this is overwhelming at the beginning. That's why in my new course, we start from zero. In 30 lessons, we go through the basics. Basic expressions, responsive animations, dynamic text animations, and repetitive techniques. Plus, I add new bonus content every month. You will create animations that wouldn't be possible without expressions. Join now and learn how to animate with expressions in After Effects. All right, next we add a new solid, color white, and let's call it Map. This displacement map will create the glitches. On top of that layer, we add a null object, which we name Controls. We go to Effect, Expression Controls, and add a slider control. Let's name it Speed, because we want to control the speed of the glitch animation with it. And let's change the tool value to 25. This should be fast enough. We duplicate the slider control, name it Horizontal Displacement. and set the tool value to 200 for now. We can change it anytime. We duplicate the slider control and name it Vertical Displacement. Awesome, that's our three controls. Next, let's create the displacement map. We select the map solid and add turbulent noise. You can find it in noise and grain. Let's add it and take a look at the settings. Basic, linear, contrast, 2300. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling. 
and set the scale width to 1000, the scale height to 10. Complexity 1. Then we want to animate the evolution with a time expression. We add an expression and add time asterisk 1000, which means the evolution changes by 1000 degrees per second. Pretty fast. To slow it down, we add the posterized time expression above. Posterize time. And instead of adding a number of frames per second, inside the parentheses, we link it to the speed slider control. We select the controls layer to see the slider controls. Then we click back into the expression and link to the slider control. Semicolon. Now we have control over how many times per second the evolution changes. Next, we select the map solid again and add the mosaic effect. Set horizontal blocks to 1. vertical blocks to 120, and check sharp colors. We want the number of vertical blocks to wiggle though. We add an expression to this property. Again, we add the posterized time expression. Instead of adding a number, we select the controls layer again. Click back inside the parentheses, ignore the error message, and link to the speed slider control. Semicolon. Then add a wiggle expression. Wiggle. In parentheses, 1, 80. One time per second, the value wiggles 80 in each direction. Beginning from the start value, 120. Awesome. Let's close all this. Next, we select the text layer and add the effect displacement map. Choose the map solid. After effects and masks are applied, and hide it. And now you can see how the displacement map affects the text layer. We want to control these two values with slider controls as well, and at the same time add some randomness. We add an expression to the max horizontal displacement property. Again, we add posterize time, click inside the parentheses, and link to the speed slider control. Semicolon. Then we add a wiggle expression. And in parentheses, one like one time per second, comma, we control the amount with the slider control. We link to the horizontal movement slider control. The slider control indicates the wiggle amount. Let's increase it to 2000 to see more of an effect. Here we go. The max horizontal displacement value changes max 2000 in each direction from the start point. Let's better change the two values of both slider controls to 2000 to have a bigger range. Then we add the expression to the max vertical displacement property. We add an expression and copy and paste the expression we just wrote. We need to replace horizontal displacement with vertical displacement to link to the right slider control. Awesome! Now we have control over the glitch animation. We should set both start values to zero though, to make sure that when the slider indicates zero, there's no movement at all. 
Finally, let's add some more detail to the text. We add Venetian blinds. Transition completion, 5%. Direction, 90 degrees. Width, 10. Which creates these horizontal lines. Next, we duplicate the text layer. Move it below. We open both source text properties and link the bottom one to the top one. So you only need to change the text in the top one to change it in all text layers. Then we change the fill color of the text. To cyan maybe. You can see it behaves slightly different. The wiggle expression has a different animation pattern. And I think we should add a glow effect. We need to increase the transition completion to 20% to see the lines again. Finally, we duplicate the bottom text layer two more times and change the fill color each time. And here is your glitch text animation rig. By changing the values of the slider controls, you can create completely different behaviors in just a few seconds. If you want to learn more about expressions and understand how they work, you should check out my course. Link is in the description. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.